Welcome to Bitch Talk, booze and interviews from the heart of San Francisco. This is episode 246 of the Bitch Talk podcast. I'm Erin. Hi, this is Ange. <laughs> Uh, a little... We got through it, guys. <laughs> yeah, I got through it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. A little housekeeping. Uh, go visit our website, bitchtalkpodcast.com, Twitter, at bitchtalkpod, Facebook, bitchtalkpodcast, Instagram, bitchtalkpodcast, one word, or email us at therealbtpod at gmail.com. So Char has us doing a new thing, which is fantastic, but it means that I have to break my old brain of introing the podcast like I normally do and introing it in a new way. <laughs> yeah, our tagline that I've I've had on Instagram for a while, but it, yes, but you've never said it. If you're I've wondering why it. our opening was a little clunky, that's why. I, yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm forcing them to to, to mess with their muscle memory, <laughs> dude. It's like it's the muscle memory strong. I knew you had it in you though. You were you trying did, to give up, you. and I was like, no, thanks. Wipe those tears out of your I eyes. I was a little teary eyed. I'm like, fuck, I can't do this. So, also. Go ahead. No, I was like, I, and if you're listening for the first time, that's kind of yes. what, what the show's about. Yeah. You know, like, we're we're now 40-somethings. <laughs> and a 30-something. And hang, a 30-something. Hanging out in studio. We used to be 30-somethings all hanging out in studio. Let's just keep <laughs> saying we're 30-somethings. I'm fine with that. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, but, and if, yeah, so if you're here for the first time, that's kind of what the show's about. And if you've been here all along... You probably didn't know. That's our tagline. Yeah. And if you hate that tagline, you can always email us at therealbtpod at gmail.com. Uh, yeah. Give a new one. Yeah. You think you got something better. I also think Angela's just trying to get out of doing an intro, but it's oh, fine. I, Thank you for believing in me, Angela. I could have done it, but I wanted you to. There was a lot of pep talks and many takes in between. <laughs> yeah, so you got what you got. I so. feel like that'll be, once I set up Patreon for real, like that'll be accessible. Like that whole- We had a little- Bitch, bitch, bitch. Yeah, like there's a, a bitch, 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 bitch. Bitch talk, bitch talk. What about bitch talk? I'm trying to <laughs> flush it out. Yeah. And I think <laughs> people would laugh at us. Oh, the, if we kept... Oh, actually, I do. I've kept all the outtakes. I've kept all these raw <gasps> files. Oh, God. Yes. I don't care. I think they're hilarious. Do whatever you want. Cool. Let's let's wait for a ba- Patreon. I'm Get paid for that shit. Down with that, too. <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, this last weekend, uh, there was something called the Women's March that was across the country and in San Francisco and all around the Bay Area. And Ange and I interviewed uh, the lovely Sophia Andare last week to talk about the Women's March. And then we went and we're like, we should probably recap with Sophia. And lo and behold, she uh, called in, quote unquote, and that interview will be this Thursday. Um, but we had a good time. We had press passes. We got press pass. We got super hooked up. We got hooked up, and uh, we got to stand on stage together and look yes. out. We didn't take and pictures we didn't of take ourselves. Any pictures of, of ourselves because we're because idiots. we're not millennials. We're not true millennials, you guys. We weren't thinking of ourselves. We're thinking of everyone else. But now, and of course, Ange thought of it. Maybe towards the end of the march, she's like, "Wait, you were on the stage." I was like, "Yeah, but I didn't want to bother her. She was filming, so I wasn't going to go over there." Yeah, I didn't even know you were on the stage. Yeah, if I did, I may have I said know. we should take a picture together. We should have taken a picture on the stage with, with the, the crowd. thousands and thousands yeah. of people behind well, us. Yeah. Sorry, that's why we need to hire an intern that's a millennial that thinks of these things, <laughs> which might be happening. Because <laughs> it works in comms. I don't know what that means. We're trying to stay hip to the times. Yeah, you guys. Everyone has a boss job. Hashtag hip to the times. Oh my God! Are you older than us? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm not good at that. I told you. Uh, we all had a good time at the Women's March. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. Um, it was great. Oh, though. It was good energy. Tons of families <laughs> yeah, and good kids. En- <laughs> good energy. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Hashtag Bush and Dickel. Um, that's all. It was fun. We we had a good time. We ended up at one of our favorite dive bars in the city afterwards, which is really cool because when we first, thank goodness we went in when we did because we got a table. We and got, it to, got crazy packed. Yeah, like and we an got to later. watch um, the flat screen. Oh, we're at the Tempest. Did I say that? And we got to watch the flat screens with uh, the news on, which sounds boring, but then they were showing all of the marches across the and country. And people were cheering like it was yeah. a sporting event. Yeah. It was awesome. It was really like cool. Like everyone was, because everyone, the Tempest, if you don't know, is just a couple blocks down from Market Street. Right. And it's kind of between downtown and Soma and TL. Sure. I don't know. It's kind of like a trifecta. Like, I guess right it's there. Soma. Which I it's didn't just, really think just it was, Soma. I yeah. guess. But it's it's close enough to where basically the entire bar w- was full of marchers. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. And one of the speakers, which was awesome. <gasps> oh my god, yeah, the first speaker. <laughs> yeah, um, the Native American indigenous. She, she did the opening woman. blessing yeah. uh, from the Ohlone tribe, Canyon Sayers Roots. She was sitting there yeah. grabbing a drink, and that made no, me. No, she just was love at the bar. She was at the bar, and we ran up to her. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, you were amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, yeah, so th- that was really fun. We got a table. We got to cheer on all the other marches, and we got some. It was uh, really cool. Bush and Dickel specials. <laughs> I didn't. For $5. Yeah, that's actually a really good. What exactly entails of a Bush it's, and Dickel? It's a Bush beer and Dickel whiskey, like okay. a shot of, yeah, Bush and Dickel. It's a good deal, 5 bucks. $5, make you holla. In San Francisco, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, But that was great. I mean, last year we didn't know what to expect, and then it rained, So, but it still was a huge crowd. And then this year it was sunny. And beautiful, and because we had the press passes, we had the whole schedule rundown, which is very key. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we got ahead of a lot of stuff, and we got really great B roll shots and stuff. And we got to witness it in, yeah. from a very comfortable space, right up right. front. And we could actually hear the speakers, which was great. Yeah, and it yeah. was really cool. So thanks, um, Women's March Bay Area, for having us there. And Sophia, we love you. And, and for um, a great event. Really. Yeah. Great really, speakers across yeah. the board. Just everything went went off without a hitch. So you guys should be patting yourselves on the back. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah don't forget to download Thursday's episode because you'll get to hear. Oh, yeah. Sophia again. S- Sophia's uh, take on everything. Yeah. Our friend Sophia. Um, How are you, Char? You're fucking busy as all, all hell. over the place. Which is good, though. I, I'm not complaining. I, I And that's. I, I feel like I'm a broken record when I say it, but everybody's always asking me, like, how's everything going? And I was like, I'm just like, I'm crazy busy, but I'm not complaining. Right. I'm having, you know, a blast and you know, there's so much going on. I was actually trying to kind of take inventory of all the different shows I'm working mm-hmm. on right now. And I've got like just this month alone, I've got five new shows in development. Wow. So awesome. And, you know, and some stuff other, you know, some other stuff down the line along with our shows that, like, you know, like the OGs, you know. That's the, right. <laughs> been the, here for a minute. Ride or dies. Yep. The originals that I've been working on for a few years. And then, you know, some others from, you know, some new ones that I've had. So, like, it's it's like a roster of, like, a dozen a dozen shows. And I was like, holy crap, that's, that's not bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's exciting. Bad. That's a good start to your year. Yeah. I, I stopped by a couple of friends, uh, uh my friend's office over at uh over at cumulus up the street and yeah we were talking about it because we worked on a morning show together for a little bit and and so i was just like yeah things are things are busy and i was like she was all that's what we were hoping for and i was like me too <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know, well you just you don't know you never know you never know um yeah busy Busy, busy, busy. Um, you saw Avenue Q for the first time. I did it last week. Oh, how was that? How it was, was, it was fun, right? Yes. And Angie's nephew is the lead, and he was fantastic and has a great singing voice. Um, and is, he's just great. I got to experience him a little bit after <laughs> the real him after the show. And Ange was right. He's he's a true millennial. He's a true millennial. But and his UGG sh- UG love- <laughs> shoes and and uh, I think he said something about he's he only ate a thousand calories that day. So I'm now like, he oh, could have fried chicken yeah, for so, dinner. No, so he could drink or drink. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I was like, I just ate a thousand calories at dinner. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, easily. Yeah. Fried chicken and yeah. mashed potato. Or no, no. no, no mac no. and cheese. Oh, that's yeah. what I ate. That's what you oh. ate. <laughs> <laughs> but he's fantastic. I, I Does he want to go to Broadway or New York, um, London? Any I think he would love that, but I don't know. I, I don't even know if he... I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> no, I just... He's so good. He is... He is interested in... Uh, Working for a theater and and learning more of those ropes. Mm-hmm. He was saying he was applying for this job at a theater company, but I don't know. He's making good money. Like I mean, he's able to make really good money in in tech and work on musicals all year long. Mm-hmm. So he kind of has the best best of both worlds right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I so, mean, he gets to do it all. Yeah, so and that not, would entail him having to he's not compromise like us, a lot. He's not like us broke. Yeah, <laughs> broke artists. <laughs> He's actually making money. And I'm like, I still got to get you Christmas presents. I mean, you're balling. <laughs> yeah, no, he should be getting you. I still do. He's oh, my nephew. But nice anyway. <laughs> um, I 
I've been lifting, of course. I have to tell you this one story. So before I came in, of course, I'm trying to always time, like, I give myself enough time so I can go home. I had to do some stuff and then come here. And of course, my la- <laughs> my last ride was a lift line. And the girl gets in. I'm all the way out by the ocean. She gets in. And I already had a cue for another rider in the area. And she's like, oh, are we are we picking up someone else? I'm like, yeah, it's a Well, it's a lift line. You lift don't have a say. Line. And she's like, oh, OK, OK. And I almost was like, how about you get out of yeah, the car get the fuck out. and just order? She wasn't difficult about it, but I was like, I always say if you have somewhere to be, don't grab a lift line, especially if you're all the way across the city and have to get to the mission. Yeah. She was at the beach. She was two blocks from the beach on Judah, where you used to live out there, yeah. and then trying to get to Guerrero and like 20th. I'm like, sorry, girl. So Did that- it take you 45 to an hour? Yep. Easily. It took us about an hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> about, well, 40-ish minutes Wait, for her. Where'd you have to go again? So out by the beach, so like 48th right. and Judah all or whatever. There, right. All the way to Guerrero and 20th. Oh, jeez. And how could you not think we're going to pick up people? I know it's in the middle of the day, but everyone's trying to cut some, cut pennies, cut whatever. Cut Even cores. in your own lift, that would take 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah, she In your would, own ride. I, right. <laughs> yeah. If you're driving, it takes yeah, that long. Yeah, driving by right. yourself is. <laughs> Thank you. So just, you know, if you're taking a lift line, just don't, ha- either budget the time for yourself or just hopefully. You're- or shut up because it's not the driver's fault. Yeah, I was just someone. like, yeah, we're picking up people. <laughs> Like it's a lift line. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's always fun. I've had some really great rides per the huge. Um I think that's it. I always I always actually like out of towners. They're my favorite. Mm. So I had some people from Pasadena and um I had a tech kid in my car the other day. We talked about film the entire time. He was gonna go see the Phantom Thread, uh, which will will lead into Oscar nominations in just a minute. Uh, but, uh, he was really cute and we were talking about tech and he was talking about bad decisions that tech companies make, which I thought was interesting hmm. and where they spend money and where they don't spend money. We just had a really great conversation no. and he tipped, tip your driver. Just so, the tip. Just the tip. So is it really true? Like I, I, we've had Zia on before from yes. Look Me Up San Francisco. Yeah. Another and, one of your projects. Yes. And, uh. He mentioned about, and you've talked about it as well, of like how little people actually tip. Yep. Is it really true? The, the yeah, it's like 20%, 25%. I always say one in five or something will and, tip. And, and that's kind of, that's your experience? Mm-hmm. Really? One in five, one in four. Okay. I mean, like, I kind of felt like that's what you had said and what other, other people had said. And I, like, reiterated that. I regurgitated that statistic to somebody else and they were amazed by it. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure because the people I work with, it, that's yep. kind of their experience. Yep. And Sundays, people don't really tip. Saturdays are your biggest tipping day that I've noticed. Um, if you're on a lift line, just tip. I mean, tip $1. <laughs> I feel mm-hmm. I notice a lot of people on lift lines don't tip. Really? Yeah. I feel guilty if I don't. I mean, like, how You're hard is it $3. to dollars. How hard is it to just add a dollar to? And what is a dollar, really, that's, that's, at the end of the day? I tip a dollar, and I don't got no money. Right. So no, that, I mean, that's and that, w- the conversation started with I was talking to somebody who, was, who doesn't come to the city often and took Lyft uh, and was like, how much do you tip? And I was like. I usually just tip a dollar unless they're great right. and then I'll add more to that right. based on that. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I'll always standard. I just always just tip a buck. And then they're like, they're like, that's okay. And I'm like, dude, from what I understand, they don't get tips. So they'll take whatever we give. Them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't take <laughs> tips and, uh, or I'm sorry, the tip is not included in the ride. Uh, Lyft and or Uber or whatever else you ride, except Ride Austin, which I'll talk about in a minute, uh, takes 25 to 28%, and uh, which adds up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, tipping your driver is awesome because we are uh, giving you a service. Is that right? Um, I don't yes. Want, that's all of it sounds than... sexual, but uh, <laughs> providing you, providing, We're providing you, a service to providing, you. Providing, yes. Thank you, Angela. I was trying to think. I was trying to think about nice like, a bush and a uh, <laughs> Bush and dickle. It's not a, it's not a bush and dickle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but actually, I had I my first ride this morning. I picked up this chick, and I've had this a couple times where people. 
in my head, I'm thinking they probably have to d- go take a shit and they called a lift because they have to get home. This is my scenario in my head. <laughs> what? So this is the second runner I've picked That's up. That's the average scenario that you think of. Because I know me. Wow. Usually I <laughs> And it's not if because was... like they fart in your they car or just say They're looking for a great to fart <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, no I, I'm thinking if I went for a run in Golden Gate Park and all of a sudden camp, because there, it is true, you know this, Ange, because I've been with you when this happened, can't find a proper bathroom when you got to take a number two. Yeah. So call a lift and then you get, get home in like 10 minutes or whatever. So I picked up this chick in Golden Gate Park. She gets in the car. She's like, oh, we're not going far. We're just going to my house. And I was thinking, yeah, I know. You got you to shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out she was working from home. And she was on a run and she got an email and she's like, yeah, I just got an email from work. It's really annoying. All, all of a sudden I have to be at some meeting in like an hour or something. And she's in the middle of Golden Gate Park sweating. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we're going along. I maybe went four blocks, quote unquote, in Golden Gate Park. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so annoyed. I just got an email that says, never mind, forget it. It's fine. We're okay. And I'm like, okay, well, do you want to go home? I mean, it was so nice out or you want to whatever. So we ended up, she's like, actually, do you mind just dropping me off four blocks from where I was in the park? And she's like, I'm sorry, I don't want to be annoying. I'm like, it's totally fine. I get it. You know, if you don't have to go into work, then don't drop Mm -hmm. her off. She gave me a $3 tip on a $3 ride. Oh, nice. So thank you, lady runner who didn't have to take a shit. Nice. Um, (laughs) She's winning all around. Yeah, I loved her. And I'm all, don't check your work emails when she got out of the car. I yelled at her. No, I didn't. But I did say that. Um, But then there's people like that. So I don't know. Do you rate the people, the other people bad? I rated that chick that asked me if we had to pick up anyone in that lift line as a four instead of a five. Okay. Just Just kind of. Yes. If there's an issue. Fuck yeah. Okay. And if there's a real big issue, I will stop the car, give the bad rating, and put in the comment. I only used lift. I only use lift, and apparently lift is the one that you can't find out what your your rider rating is. Well, we can do an experiment at some point if you want. <laughs> I'm just yeah. Curious. I've never noticed what mine is. I better have a five. I I, I mean, like I assume. <laughs> Can you isolate that also at some point? (laughs) No, I either, you know, shut the fuck up, but I'm not staring down at my phone or I'll have a good conversation. So (laughs) what's wrong with that? Right. I'm just, I mean, like I would, I would imagine I tip every time and I, I don't, I feel like I try to be pleasant. I don't always talk to them because I'm not always in the mood. Yeah, you don't always talk, but I don't, you know. But if I'm in shotgun and like staring down at my phone, I feel like that's rude too. You know, I don't do things like that. Do you I, wait? Do you sh- do you sit? Do you do always shit. do you, do you shit <laughs> shotgun? every morning, seven thirty a.m. <laughs> right on the dot? Do you? No, uh, I, I sit I, in shotgun always. Really? I love it because if I'm, I always do lift line, and I never want to be in the back sitting next to someone who's staring at their phone. So I'd rather be up front because then I could I could either chat with a driver or just stare out the window. Interesting. What about you? Uh, Even if I'm the first person, I get shotgun because now I've been driving for lift, and I if I get a lift line. I'll always sit shotgun because I'd rather have that seat. Right, but if just you're just getting a private lift, I go in back. So do I. I I, I don't I I don't think I've ever done lift line because I'm always I usually take lift with other people. Right. So I guess I I think it's always weird when it's a single rider, but they'll sit up front with me. But it's fine. Yeah. yeah see, that's different. But I rarely I will, get my own lift. Like Zia, he I... prefers because you know, like he because well, he wants to talk to his people, obviously, yeah. because that's his whole shtick for you know, lift me up, San Francisco. But he uh, he always wants people to sit up front with him, mm-hmm. no matter what, like lift line, not lift line. But to me, I'm like, I want to sit up front with somebody. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I think it definitely depends on the person, too. It's interesting. I mean, I'm like, Whoa. you might want more than others to sit right. in front. <laughs> and I told you guys I had that one time. God, And I always think about it when I have to go up near UCSF because there's a lot of pickups at UCSF Parnassus. There's like multiple campuses and blah, blah, blah. And anytime part of the lift line today, I had to go up there and I was worried because I had that person that was a patient mm-hmm. that was being discharged. And that was like kind of out of it mm-hmm. and... I thought probably homeless. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! And I was like, oh please, please don't have a homeless patient get into the car right now. Anyways, uh, but yeah, just tip your driver. Come on, come on. Especially young tech kids. You got the money. You got a boss job. <laughs> tip that dollar. 
Um, <laughs> I uh, went to a free comedy show last night at the Milk Bar in Upper Haight. Really great. Uh, I think they have a free comedy show every Monday. Uh, this one, they had free pizza from Escape from New York. Nice. Nice. I've seen that on Free Cheap SF. Yeah, What's yeah. The What's milk the name shows? of the show? Uh, this one was just free comedy night. Oh, okay. But if you just check on their website, they, they have a whole list of whatever. I have a, um, a, com- uh, a local comic uh, friend of mine. She produces a show at the Milk Bar. Oh, which one? I can't remember the name of it. That's why I was oh, asking. Okay. I was thinking it might jog my memory. Like, they do, like, a monthly thing. Uh but I can't remember. It's like one of those like first Thursdays or right, first right. Or whatever. And they do one. I'm pretty sure it's like once a month or once a week or something like that. So. This one was good. And there's a lot of ladies uh, comics. And I obviously chased them down and got their names. And uh, they were funny. But OK, so <laughs> here's the funnier part of the story. So I wasn't sure what the whole free pizza was going to look like. Because I think <laughs> we've been to a show where there's free pizza. But it was like. One cheese pizza and, you know, whatever. You get a slice with no cheese on it and barely any sauce. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing to do. So we went and got our own little small pizza and brought it in. So there was this there's this kind of vaguely homeless guy that was in the bar and just, I don't know. He was fine. Like, I wasn't worried about anything, but I'm like, all right, vaguely homeless. Maybe he just comes for the free show with the free pizza. I get it. That'd be my hustle, too, right? Mm-hmm. But we had our box. So I had my two slices and I'm like, I'm going to save the one for later because I always, after a couple of drinks, I always want another slice. Yes. Trying to be very smart about it, right? Mm-hmm. Strategic. Yeah. So then we found, we were standing up first, then we went into the to the area where they were doing the comedy. We found a seat, sat down, and I put my box, that sounds weird, <laughs> put the pizza box right next to my chair on the floor. So we're watching the comics, watching the comics, all of a sudden, vaguely homeless man Kind of comes walking over, and then there is a set of stairs next to me, and he plopped down next to the stairs, and I kind of saw him, whatever. And then I was like, I'm going to look down and see if my pizza's okay. Look down. He's eating my pizza. <gasps> oh, oh no. hell no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I looked at him, and I'm like, you know what? But, yeah, you know what? but what are you going to do? Vaguely gonna, homeless. Yeah. I'm not going to say put my pizza down, and I'm not going to eat it now. Right. Obviously. The guy oh. didn't even, he had two bites and put it back in the box. <gasps> oh. I'm sorry to like our delicious thickens. pizza, vaguely homeless old man. Oh and my Jeff's God, like, that's even worse. Eat your pizza. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I get for farting around homeless people. They eat my pizza. Karma's a bitch. Yep. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Yeah, bitch, 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 bitch. bitch, bitch. Uh, <laughs> so n- note to people, if you go to this free free comedy night, don't leave your unattended pizza because the vaguely homeless man will come eat it. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, did that just happen? Vaguely homeless. But what was the pizza situation? Did they have a lot? They brought these two extra large... Escape from New York pizzas. They're probably just cheese, but I don't care. We should. So you don't need to worry about it if you go to the milk show. Okay, good to know for future reference. Yeah. Yeah. So that happened. (laughs) Fucking hey, man. Uh, Let's talk about the Oscars nominations. I'm whatever about it. Yeah, (laughs) I'm. I'm sad that uh, Florida Brooklyn didn't get supporting actress and cinematography for a Florida project. I mean, obviously Sean Baker as director, right. I loved, but I think this is a year of a lot of really big films, really good film. I haven't sure. seen a lot of them, but I, I want to see more of them before the Oscars come and I will, but, um, but I am sad about that. Brooklyn and, and um, the cinematography for Florida project. Also, or screenplay would have been cool. Even just a nod. I mean, Willem yeah. Dafoe got a nod, right? Which, we kind of knew that was a yeah, shoe but, but, eh. eh. but that little girl, I mean, who performed better than her? I don't know. I have to watch all these films, but she's fucking amazing. Yeah. She's well, coming up, though. I mean, she's right. only begun. So It looks like Frances McDormand's cleaning house on on the award shows anyways. <laughs> yeah. Did she, did she get a nom? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Margot Robbie, sorry. Uh, I can't say her name, even though she did a whole SNL skit about it. Ronan, whatever, Ronan. Sorcy? Yeah. Cersei. Cersei? Cersei. Cersei. Omo. Yeah. Cersei. 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 Not Cersei, because that's from Game of Thrones. Cersei. Cersei. <laughs> Cersei. It's fine. 
<laughs> That's how you say it. Meryl Streep, source, snooze. Source, source. Um, the, for the post, whatever. I haven't seen Shape of Water, which I actually, I really do want to see that. Sally mm-hmm. Hawkins. Um, well, what about uh, cinematographer Rachel <gasps> Morrison for Mudbound? Which, which who, is... Well, she's That's Ryan exciting. Coogler's girl, which is my fucking man. I love him. Um, when they work together? Well, she did the cinematography for Fruitvale Station. Oh. And she worked on Creed, I think. Maybe not. But I know she's working or did work on Black Panther with Ryan. Wow. Yeah. So She is a badass. She is. And uh, I actually got to see her when I did that thing up in Mill Valley. And she was really cool. Really cool chick. Um, I do wish that Dee Reese was nominated for Mudbound. Did you end up seeing mm-hmm. Mudbound? Yeah, oh, yeah, you remember? did. We yeah, talked yeah, about yeah. it. Yep, yep. Um, I'm glad Mary J. Blige got a got a shout out. Um, but the screenplay got a shout out. So for mm-hmm. uh, an Oscar nom, which was good. I really do wish. So on our Jeff and I went to Texas briefly like two weeks ago. And uh, uh, on our flight, we were able to watch movies for free, which is crazy. It's American. Uh, and so he ended up watching. Oh, my God. Here it comes. Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Oh my God! It hasn't who been for we, a while. Who did we interview? Hello, the Which white girl time? rapper. Oh, oh, Patty, Patty, Patty cakes. cakes. He watched Patty Cakes again, and so I was kind of watching him watch it, and Ugh. he was yeah. laughing. I really wish they got like at least original score or best music. Yeah, something to do with the music. I didn't get anything. I wonder. I haven't seen anything about the independent film or. Independent Spirit Awards yet. Maybe they'll get a nod there. I really like that film. I'm sad no one is noticing it. Um, I actually watched It on the plane, which was interesting. Uh, sorry, I'm going off the Oscar names. And I watched uh, a film that you guys should see and our friend Dino Ray Ramos saw, I think it's Sundance last year, called Gook. Um, really powerful. It takes place in, uh, I think, 1992 down in L.A. during the riots. Hmm. And... Um, Really good if you can find it. So, uh, sorry. Uh, Oscar noms. Anything else? Best well, director, Jordan, Jordan Peele. Peele. Yes. And Greta Gerwig. Mm. But, yeah, Jordan Peele. It's exciting. Well, you... We, I haven't talk, seen Lady Bird. Yeah, I Bitch know. Talk didn't have the opportunity to do it, but... Uh, we were asked just we couldn't yeah, make it. Sorry. Radio Rehab. So that's yes. kind of... This, uh, the, like, Lady Bird and Greta Gerwig's kind of my moonlight of this year. Just because that's, you know, we... It's kind of right. like the biggest profile interview we did mm-hmm. that um, that I was a part of last year. That's actually getting you know some award season buzz. Right. I'm glad she got nominated because I felt like Golden Globes. Did she get nominated? No, she yeah, she's from Sacramento. No, she so. right. She's local. It got nominated for best film, best actress, best supporting, but all these nothing. things, but not best director. director. Yeah. It um, won best film. I mean, anyway, moving on. Well, and I saw that our friend Dino was throwing shade at phantom thread which really just got in by the hairs of their chinny chin chin uh because that film just came out paul thomas anderson um uh, mm. mm-hmm. uh what else oh sorry best original song i'm just seeing this oh our boy Raphael sadiq is on there <laughs> for um mighty river with mary j blige by the way a uh, shart you used a uh, Raphael sadiq song and one of our intros like last week I just want to say thank you for that. I don't think did you I? knew you did that. And I love Raphael Sadiq. I love him. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I've been using... Uh... Pretty sure. Okay. I'd bet my kid on it, and I don't have a kid, but if I did... Would you I'd bet, bet my Will kid. Clark Jr. I'll bet Jr. Will, I'll bet Will okay. Clark Jr. Jr. on it. Pretty then she's sure. serious. Okay, I'll have to look. And I love him. You have to tell me what episode, because I've been think trying... Like... I've been trying to, like, as you know, we've been trying yes. to do a little bit more... Uh, instrumental type stuff, and so I'm we trying, don't get sued, guys. I'm trying to get, afford it. <laughs> I'm trying to find stuff that's kind of our style, you yeah. know. And so I've been playing with like different things. I can come in and record some stuff. And should just play, play the, the ukulele. Ukulele. no, I mean like yodel or chanting or Ooh. 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 <laughs> no, that doesn't really match the feel of bitch talk. But thank you. What? Maybe for wait, some... wait, wait, wait. Did, wait. Did start, or like start yodeling right now. So and do your open. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to bitch talk. Oh, Booze oh, interviews oh, from, oh, from the heart oh, of San Francisco. Oh, 
I think it works. Thanks. I love that I can tell you guys what to do. Did you, you see like, me? I was like really <laughs> concentrating, Shar. You got really it right. looking at your face. I think it helped you. Yeah, man. You got it right on your first I day. I do need chaos to focus, so thank you. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cry again. You're it's like so hard. Composer. She's it's like so pointing hard. at us. She's cueing you in. I was like, do it. I'm all, welcome, welcome to Bitch Talk. Who's interviews for Hard San Francisco? Ah, 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 Ooh. Ah, Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Something like that. <laughs> do that one. Do that one. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, 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 ooh. Welcome to ah, Bitch Talk. Ah, ah, ooh. Booze interviews straight from. If I had my yeah? other computer on, I'd, I'd have the. Should we uh, have the, people listen. vote? Yeah, sure. Anyone vote on that? Sure. We'll take a poll. Tell, tell us. Here's a know. poll. <laughs> comment. Comment your favorite. Uh, uh, Here's a poll. Just comment your tip. favorite open. Bush and Dick. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Boy. All right, I, I got to move on to something that's serious. And I'm only, after all of that, sorry, guys, you're going to laugh and now you're going to cry. So I had no idea until last week about the USA Women's Gymnastics sexual abuse uh, <gasps> scandal. No idea. Really? No, because we haven't talked about this at all. And someone brought it up at the beautiful flower shop I work at three days a week called Trish Street Flowers. Wow. And I had absolutely no idea what she's talking about. And so... um. I think over the weekend on Sunday, um, I was watching the women's march from Las Vegas. And then I went down, of course, the dark hole of YouTube television because that's what we have. And they had the, um, let me see, what was her name? Ali Raisman. Oh. Her testimony She's against so um, badass. Larry Nassar, Nassar um, who was sexually abusing. Well, let's see. Over 100 women have come forward accusing Larry Nassar of sexual abuse. Um, 125 women filed criminal complaints with police and more than 140 people have filed civil suits against the doctor and the institutions that employed him for so long, most notably USA Gymnastics and Michigan State University. Um, at photos taken all the way back to 1996 Olympics, he's pictured next to American gymnast Carrie Strug after her famous ankle injury. I can't believe it's that long ago. And he mm -hmm. attended the games in Sydney in 2020 or and. 2008 and in London uh, 2012. In addition to the charges in Michigan, federal prosecutors charged Nasser in December 2016 with possession of child pornography, saying that the doctor had about 37,000 37, explicit images in his possession. Um, so, uh, yeah, I watched the Allie Raisman, mm -hmm. um, her reading of uh it's not testimony what is it it's just like yeah her, testimony well yeah her testimony during his sentencing last week. they were letting anyone come uh, all anyone that wanted to right. come up and speak have you seen any of this Shar? or did you know about this i had no idea uh the i hadn't heard about it except when um is i can't remember is it ali the one that She's kind of been the spokesperson. Well, uh, there's a... I can't remember which gymnast it is that has a gag order on her. Oh, yes. Oh, God. I can't remember, is but I Michaela? saw that, too. Me, me, yeah, yeah, Michaela. Yeah. Uh, I, I forget yeah, the she, full name. Yeah, she... Because she... Maroney. Michaela Maroney. I don't remember. She... Anyway. Um, what was it? She sued yes. them sued him po in the past and they right. settled out of court and she just typed uh, she signed a non-disclosure yes uh for the usa gymnastics Dix federation whatever, or whatever yeah. mm -hmm. and um she's not so she's not allowed to talk about it publicly and so it it uh stopped her from testifying mm -hmm. because she can't talk about it because uh, if she did she could face a one hundred thousand dollar fine and then it sparked up uh, some you know chatter and some controversy because Chrissy Teigen tweeted mm -hmm. and said this is wrong you know bet but between the Me Too and the, the Me Too movement and the time is up we should be taking care of her and this she shouldn't have to be silent so I'll pay your hundred thousand dollars right mm -hmm. and then a couple of people like I think it was like Kristen Bell and another another celebrity said oh yeah i'll do a third of that like in of course the the pressure for the they waved it the, yeah they said yeah <laughs> you're not gonna have to so she was able to to Testify. put her two cents in there well, not exactly two cents but you know what I mean. right i know what you mean um well i love how she not only looked him directly 
in his mean, eyes and just you was should, like, if you, you haven't are, seen this, you should just Google. It's really powerful, and she doesn't waver. She does of, not waver. Yeah. She's so strong. Nope. Yep. And she also is like, "Fuck the establishment," because the she U- called out USA a lot of gymnastics had to have known. I mean, to a certain extent, what was going on, and people would come out and complain and, and say things, and nothing happened. So, yeah, she was calling people out, and she was so brave. And and uh, I can't imagine what it feels like to be standing there looking at him like that, you know. But they were showing video of him crying. I'm like, just fuck you. Yeah, and she fuck you. She mentions too that he had written the judge a letter. Like it's really hard for me to yeah. sit through and all the, all these girls, you know, saying these things. It's like, and the judge was like, I don't give two like, fucks. As if we are going to feel bad for you, really? <laughs> wow. I mean, obviously, there's something mentally wrong with this person, right? I yeah, mean, yeah. Was, like, sure. I mean, yes, of course. I, you know, but I, also gross. Like, you knew what you were doing. You were in power for this long. Mm-hmm. And also, he wasn't only just a part of USA Gymnastics team. He was also, and if you watch the Ali Raisman um, testimony, she talks about how the USA Gymnastics, whatever federation, and... um USA, I think, um, Olympic panel also gave him the tools to like write. Oh God, I'm going to forget. Write. Um, oh God. The processes in order to shield young women and young athletes from being sexually molested. Like he was writing all of this for all of these federations and whatever, but he was also the guy doing it. Um, just, uh, so gross. It's all. It's basically all of those girls that we've seen since the nineties. Mm-hmm. If you've I've ever loved molested. gymnastics, yeah, you've like seen I, all, all of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just people among do. others. I mean, among other athletes and other sports. Well, then you think you're like all of the gymnasts. Uh, yeah, and I always, always wondered, probably since I was a kid, why are men? coaching all these little girls especially in gym gymnastics i don't want to think ill of all of the men but there are way too many men working with little girls for mm. my taste i don't know that's ugh. Ugh, it's so gross yeah, it's disgusting. i'm just i'm sad i didn't even know anything about this i think there's just so much going on, so much going on in i the just world. assumed you did yeah no, just because I, it's just i didn't know anything but it's true that they haven't been getting the same spotlight that weinstein and, no not at all and Act, uh, actors have been getting. I mean, it's 150 people so far. Yeah, I feel like more people know about Aziz than they do Larry Nassar. Mm, God, we haven't even talked about that. I don't know if we have time for that today. <laughs> Anyways, so... Uh, because we should definitely talk about it, though, at some point, because... We will. It is an important conversation. We will. Maybe we'll talk to Jessa May about that, too. Just kidding. Maybe not. Maybe it's too... Anyways, uh, since all of this has happened, the top leadership of U.S. USA Gymnastics Board of Directors just resigned. There's three people at the top that resigned uh, as of yesterday, Monday. And um, so far, he's gotten 60 years in prison for possession of child porn. And then this week's testimony, which I don't know when it finishes, which is a carryover from Ali Rasman. Raisman. Raisman. Um, this week it's is his sentencing uh, for the criminal sexual abuse charges. Just... gross it's a really powerful <clears throat> speech though it's a i mean she talks for like 15 minutes or something yeah like she talks yes yeah. really powerful so if you have a her minute. laser stare at him is mm-hmm. like yep i'm sure he's not even really looking at her um but yeah i, I uh, there was another uh girl who was giving her testimony and was and said i think it's the one that was a family friend uh, of his and he was abusing her from the age of like six to 12 oh yeah she so told her parents and they and were they like didn't no believe her no that didn't happen and then the, her father committed suicide oh i didn't know that yeah so two people oh, have Jesus. reportedly died from his yes. ab- abuses there was another girl a girl that he actually abused and then uh the other one is the father of a family friend um, that he had been molesting. She told her parents they didn't believe her, and then finally they realized that what she was saying was true all along, and the father couldn't live with the guilt. He killed himself. Wow. So <clears throat> they're not all survivors. Right. Yeah. 
Oh, believe your kids first. <laughs> right? Report it. Yeah. Because there, I was also reading that um, finally last, was it last year or the year before, year before, I think two years ago, 2015, that someone finally said something in the USA Gymnastics Federation, but it took another 10 months for something to happen. So this guy was still practice, practicing, um, and who else, who knows what else. Anyways. Believe your kids. <laughs> Say something. Report it. Um, hmm. I don't have anything else. I don't want to end on Aziz. We can talk about that. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. It'll be, that's a, that's another episode. But, um, but, it, oh, actually your sister's going to the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. She's going to the Winter Olympics. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to see I, Tanya before she goes. Oh, I want to see. Did you see that? <laughs> you come with us. No, we're I going haven't. next week. It's playing the Embarcadero. Okay, maybe we're we'll probably have a field going trip. on like Wednesday or Tuesday. Anyway, we'll talk about this. Yeah, online. yeah. Sorry. I mean, I'm trying <laughs> to keep you it somewhat topical. Us on Wednesday <laughs> yeah, or if anybody, uh, no, in there's the area. not that many seats in the theater. Forget it. Never mind. Don't come and join us. <laughs> we, <can't, laughs> sorry. we don't know which day we're going. Welcome so. to Bitch Talk: Booze and Interviews from the heart of San Francisco. There you go. Thank keep you. practicing. I'm gonna keep practicing. You'll sure. do better when you're actually a little <laughs> got no. a little bit of whiskey in you. I don't think so. You think so? Yeah, because it'll flow like the whiskey. Like bush, the bush and dickle. dickle. Anyways, uh, <laughs> the only John Stamos minute I have. Oh, mercy. I think he was at the Critics' Choice or SAG Awards, and his his baby mama was there, and he they were on the red carpet, and he was kissing her belly because she's showing now. So, Mazel Tov, I guess. Oh, oh real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you yeah, ended it on a high wait, note. John Stamos, John Stamos is... <laughs> No, you booked just, him. It, no, yeah, oh, I wish. God damn it! But I do have. <laughs> when you said John Stamos's baby, I uh, thought of thought of something. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> what, did you, what did you think? I of? thought of. I just got a text, like literally, like five minutes before we were recording. Um, congrats to my friend Troy in Reno, who just had his second baby. Oh, oh this was, mysterious Troy. His daughter was born. Uh, oh, yesterday, cute! So. Congratulations, Troy. We'll come up and see you sometime soon. To all. New, more recent viewers. Troy is Char's guy. He gets her what she needs when she needs to go to Reno, meaning rooms. <laughs> He's my VIP casino house. Is, that yeah, sounds I like mean, so much. Yeah. That could be so many yeah, other I things. Mean, Jesus. Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. He's. He- He's my guy. We, he's, he's, he's your guy. He's my host. Your he's go-to my, guy. My casino host over at the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno. So if <laughs> go you're visit. Ever, if you're ever in Reno and you need to go to somewhere cool, go to the Grand Sierra. Yeah. And if you so uh, much fun. If you like to play and you need a host to take care of you, hit up uh, Troy Russell. I like that plug, <laughs> Char. That's good. Yeah, he's done a lot for me. He has. Yeah. He's done a lot for Us you guys too. too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Hello, I, beer and chili. I want to shake his hand and thank him because yeah. we have so much fun there. We want to give him And I, we gamble. I put some money in. Yeah, yeah, and she gambles. <laughs> we put money in down at the arcade. Um, <laughs> what? Don't it's worry. our workout. <laughs> Troy, if you're listening, don't worry. I played for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Char and her family basically play for everyone. Um, I I'm gonna end up a little on a on a serious note. I know it's been a little serious, but um, and hopefully I can get through this. But over the weekend, we found out that our neighbor who has been missing committed suicide uh, a few weeks ago. Um, and so just if if you know anyone that's feeling down, if you know anyone that's feeling suicidal or don't doesn't feel supported or might be talking about it there's always the national suicide prevention lifeline it's 1-800-273-8255 um there's help so sorry <laughs> we'll put some stuff up on the website so uh we'll put some stuff on uh on uh our facebook and our social media for uh just kind of you know just for some awareness out there because yeah it's it seems like it happens more often than not lately and so and know, around the holidays and, right and you never know what anyone is going through right. even in your inner circle so and so yeah so with that uh we'll just kind of you know end things on a on a quieter note this time thank you Shar, for helping us pull it together <laughs> and, and thank you guys for listening sorry it's somber but Shit is real life. So. This, is, this is life. This is this is our, bitch talk. This is what's our tagline again? I, I got, I'm pointing to it like it's on Blues the wall. Booze and interviews Blues from the heart of San Francisco. From the heart of San Francisco. Well, yeah, reach out, reach out to your loved ones. I, and it, it, I mean, like bitch talk is. I mean, like it's our it's our life. You know, like we're thirty somethings, we're forty somethings, and 
in the middle of living life and this is this is our podcast and this is and, and so why we have to you know like we're completely real this isn't we're not making stuff up um, oh no <laughs> i mean i can't make up old, uh, old homeless man eating my last slice, slice of pizza uh, so. farting on home <laughs> farting on uh homeless people yeah i can't make that over up. grapes and all yeah. that kind of stuff but yeah we'll we'll put up the number on facebook and again if you know anyone that's going through it needs help you can call National Suicide Prevention Lifeline 1-800-273-8255.